what happened to my microgreens. G'day my friends, Marty Ware here. A quick little video showing you my microgreens growing in paper cups that were hammered by slugs and snails just recently after we had some rain. See, we had no rain, and so I just didn't even think of it. Now, they still look pretty good, and most of it didn't get attacked. But if you were to put on a dinner party or something like that, I'd have to go through it and get all the nice little ones choose what was okay, but when you get little bite holes and things, you're just so stoked with how beautiful they look. It can be a bit upsetting. So one way to get around that, which I didn't do, is in these type of trays, is you put gravel in there. And you've got to make sure that the gravel actually is above the water line. So when the snails or slugs come across, they won't cross across that rough texture. They hate anything that's rough. So gravel or bark and things like that, but no moisture on it. If it gets slimy, they will come across and get in there. And if they're in there first, before you put the gravel in there, under the pots, they've already got a hiding pot that can come straight out and get it when it's raining. So that's one of my really quick tips. Now, the second one is, obviously keep growing plants on. Once they go out past the microgreen stage, you can do that with many of the radishes, spinaches, and rockets. And pick what you need plant excessively and then pick what you need and leave a few parent plants, the best ones, such as I've done with this red sango radish here. These microgreens are all different types and sizes. Yes, we've got radishes, spinaches, rockets, all types of stuff going on in here. And some of it's going to be picked and some of it's going to be grown on for, obviously, for cooking purposes and more salads along the way. So there you have it, my friends. Microgreens attacked by some snails and slugs overnight from the recent rains that we had here. But I'm thankful to have the rain and I don't mind too much. They're still harvestable, but I would prefer if they didn't snack away on my microgreens overnight. So next time I'm even going to put them away and I'm going to get some gravel and some wood chip to solve that problem. Alright, if you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden already and you want to see more cool videos from me and my daughter Karen who loves to star in the part of the show, then make sure you hit that button down there or if you're not in YouTube head over and see Marty's Garden and join up. Plenty of cool stuff on the way and guess what? Watch the rest of the video because you're going to see a happy birthday. Day to you. Happy birthday dear Karen. Happy birthday to you.